<laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? January Flowers here, your favorite homegirl. And if you're hearing me, then you know it's time to get into some Deja Vu House Atlanta Season 3, Episode 2 recap. This recap does start right where Joyce and Naj left it. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And if y'all return into the channel, welcome back, Pooh. We got to get into some tea. Like the video, share the video, subscribe, support for your homegirl. I hope y'all having a wonderful day night weekend we got to get into this tea now the episode we are still at the hookah lounge and it's joss versus naj and all i gotta say is dropped drop she dropped out on her yes diamond does this veneer joke about naj hitting the floor so hard that it was nothing but crystals <laughs> That fell out of her mouth, right? It was funny, but I had to say, Diamond, Diamond. I think this joke is too soon. Girl, we saw what Tzatziki did to your missing tooth. Now, we know in real time she has got the teeth fixed, but Diamond, I felt like that was too soon. Says you just got that teeth dropped and rocked yourself. Don't come for the original Naj. Now, Naj says she popped Joyce over respect and disrespect online because one thing about Joyce, she's going to let it be told and known how she feels in the situation, and she felt that Cash would do Naj in. Now, Joyce said it was nothing but envy and hate from these girls she said she got long hair she came in there looking good all these girls is from 2016 said they giving lemonade beyonce lemonade breeze fluffy leave out she said they just jealous of her and it's always been that way so they start coming with the transphobic the transphobic slurs and this is to joyce of course but diamond I want to say Almond and Mac was trying to get everyone to understand the situation, but it was becoming a lot. The girl Nola was popping it too. Um, Naj and Michelle threatened to call Cologne because if y'all remember on um, The Greek Life, Cologne actually tore Joyce's nose off of her face, y'all. So they was threatening to call Cologne back so he could handle Joyce once again. It was very rough and rowdy, but they ended up um, getting everyone in their cars and they ended up leaving the venue i said i knew that venue was happy when they left because if that was my hookah lounge i would have said get them to cluck out of here get them out of here as fast as you brought them in now we see that the next day is move in day so we see the majority of the same people we saw last night um with a few new faces so we get to finally meet Dawn, and it's a girl named Becca. Child, let's get into the tea. The girl Nola admits that she was wrong for what she said to um, Joyce last night and what she was trying to do to Joyce. She said she was not aware that Naj was popping Joyce in her face first before Joyce even reacted. Almond said that it's um, he feels like it's his place to check the temperature of the girls when it comes to the trans cast because he said it's, it's quick to see that now that's TV gives transphobic. So Almond is a voice of reason when it comes for the girls. So I can appreciate that, Almond. Diamond said the Michelle beef isn't over season one. Now this was T. When Diamond came in and she was like, she know why Michelle still has, um, you know, an issue with her. And it's basically over baddies. Diamond doesn't say baddies. She said the other show. But I'm going to say it was baddies because we know that Michelle was at the casting call. They did not pick Michelle who would they picked diamond and she feels like that's the reason why her and michelle still got issues is over baddies for real so while they was talking nola decides that she wants to well she said before larue came she said i plan on checking larue and diamond like what for so nola says that well her biggest issue was with me saying that me and Michelle only been friends for three months. So that's when she was like, Diamond, how long have you and LaRue been friends? Diamond said, we just met. She said, LaRue gets fan. Now, Diamond, I felt like that was she because LaRue really was sticking up for you. But I'm seeing that Diamond is really all for herself. I never noticed it before. Diamond really likes men. I don't think she really prefers women, but she said that LaRue gives fan. 
So Nola says she plans on checking LaRue over the Diamond Friendship. Diamond said that they can pick boys to join the cast. I was so excited. When she said it's going to be 20 guys, it's going to be like a 20 V1 and they can pick all the hottest guys in Atlanta to join the house. Now I'm like, girl, I hope you got your magnifying glass out because um, mm -hmm, it's just like picking apples out of an orchard. You better know what you're getting yourself into, honey. Check for any worms, leeches, wounds. You know what I'm talking about it? Now, LaRue said, um, because I can. Now, this is what she said. When she entered the house, Nola was checking her, basically. And she was like, well, why would you feel as though you could defend Diamond if I knew Michelle longer than you knew Diamond? And LaRue said, because I can. Next next nola like okay well i'm not on that and i just wanted to know so you know nola piped down after larue let it be told that she can do what she wanted to now Naj came in a house and was like is she here is she here is she here is she here and i thought she was talking about joyce you know i'm thinking she's scared and shook but allegedly Mel is joining the cast just to knock Naj. And that's why Naj came in the house on a bonnet and stuff. Because she said she thought she was going to fight Mel. But LaRue called out Michelle. While everybody was talking about Mel, LaRue was like, so Michelle, what's your issue with Mel? And Michelle was like, I don't really got no issue when it comes to Mel. I don't know what you talk about it. Thank God LaRue has a great memory. She says she watched her live last night and she noticed on her live she kept saying that Mel was fat. So Michelle going to start laughing and say, I don't think I said that. I said I would hit her over the head with a lamp. I'm like, either way, if you're talking about her weight class or using household objects to clear her, Michelle, I hope you don't think, you know, you're the smallest girl in the world. Shelly, um, do I need to pull out a scale? Because for you to be talking about someone's weight class is not given, sis. Move the plate. Yes. Now, LaRue called her out and said that if you're talking about that, let me see what them hands giving. And I, I feel you, LaRue. Wake that tea up. Wake that tea up. These girls say too much now. Will Mel knock Michelle? I don't know. I think that will be an interesting brawl because they both, you know, same height, same weight. You know, we can see what it's given. Now, Diamond said that she's feeling Dawn, who's Naj's ex, right? So she like, Naj, how you feeling about Dawn? Naj like, I'm here for my own reason. He's here for his own reason. He's a ghost to me. I didn't even speak to him. You see how I treat him. So Diamond was like, okay, I'm just making it clear because, you know, I think he's a very attractive man and stuff like that. And I just was looking at Diamond like, girl, they, you know what I'm saying? Like, girl, do better. When you know better, you should do better. And girl, it's just not giving. I I might got to rethink some things with the original Dom because I'm like, girl, what was he given in that moment that you were so drawn to? The personality reminded me like a bucket of paint. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what's going on? But she says she feeling him. And Diamond said one thing about her. Any man she lays her eyes on, she gets. I'm like, girl, please stop. So Mac and Dawn, I guess, have beef. But when Mac joined the house, they dabbed it up. It was cool or whatever. I don't know their history, nor do I care. So we can move on. The girl Becca decided to speak and said that she's open to get to know everyone in the room. I'm like, girl, we still need to get to know you. Anyway, that's when they say it's time to go meet the guys. So they go over and they get to this um, the pool where the pool at in the house. And they have all these guys lined up. Now, after first glance, you know, I'm more of a personality girl. But if we're basing it on visuals, I really didn't see anything that I would immediately reach out for. And LaRue had my back. LaRue said when she saw these guys, they all looked like queens. If you know what I'm saying, she wasn't as politically correct as me she said something now so you know she was like i don't got too much to say about it because they all giving you know hey so she like she, <laughs> she like she ain't here for it so they didn't really base who they was picking off much i put that in my notes i said it was based off cheap looks you know um outfits it wasn't really based off vernacular speech because they didn't really ask them to say much and of course i knew this was gonna happen they made them brawl so y'all listen to this tea it's this guy who was trying to get in the house and his name is Unk so Almond was like how old are you mind you Almond is feeling him too he said he's 41 years old and I said no so he's like in his 40s and I was like oh my god so they want him to brawl against 
it was a really tiny guy in the back and they said go against him because he said he had knock anybody in this room do y'all know this man in his 40s ran up there to knock this boy i said what's going on first of all i'm like Natalie, I blame Natalie on Zeus for setting this precedence that, you know, at certain ages, you shouldn't be sensible because why wouldn't he say, no, you know, I'm I'm on my peaceful vibes, but he not on his peaceful vibes. He on demon time, but he got that young man. I'm going to call him young buck because they ain't give him a name. He got young buck in this first round, but when they showed a glimpse of round two, yes, yes, it looks like youth fights back yes it looked like Unk was getting worked by young buck but that's actually where the episode cuts off but y'all luckily we do get a glimpse at next week and it looks like Unk versus young buck is going there young buck had him down and he was like a walk up a walk up a walk up gonna drop out you know what i'm saying like you too old like beat him off cash you know what i'm saying so um we also see that gucci returns and I don't know who he's squabbling with, but as soon as Gucci gets in the house, him and another man start brawling. I don't know if this man is the one who released his health status. I don't know, y'all. I'm just watching the show. We see Mel joins. Mel come in and she said, big shroom, shroomy shroom, shroom. And that's when her and Naj start knocking and rocking. And then it cut off. And I said, Mel... You got to make a different statement on TV than joining just to knock people. Because y'all know that's how she got on Baddies Midwest. Yes, allegedly her and Ivory are going to be fighting around a finale time of Baddies Midwest. Ivory. So, you know, they got their history from the young and the reckless with it. But um, that was that episode. Who stood out to me this episode? Well, a couple of people. I do think Joyce and Naj had points. Naj was wrong and the next day admitted that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, it might was that night. I don't know. But Joyce to me stood out because she stood firm on don't hit me if I ain't hit you. Naj and Nola, I guess, end up seeing they're wrong in that situation. And Naj and her confessional was like, yeah, that was wrong because at the end of the day, they not going to really let us go rounds for rounds. So you really couldn't do me in like you wanted. So I know I'm wrong for that. And the girl Nola was like, yeah, um, I do plan on apologizing to the original Joyce because I know that that's not right and stuff like that. But it was given very much so transphobic. You know what I'm saying? Like you never really preferred the girls at all. Um, nobody else really stood out to me and I expected to see more of the men. No shade. I'm one of those girlies who was waiting to see the guys. I'm thinking y'all going to have a Q&A. You know what I'm saying? Maybe since the pool was right there, maybe like a swim, swim show. They didn't do it. These girls are such thirst buckets that they just ran up to the guys and start grabbing them. I said, this is why men don't really have no problems, especially men in the U.S. of A. Y'all don't really got too many problems because the thirst factor, if you just put on a decent outfit, no underwear, just sling your your, your john loose in your pants, someone going to come grab it. You know what I'm saying? Somebody going to come grab you. Those girls showed they purdy butts this episode. You know what I'm talking about it? But y'all comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Who stood out to you? Are you enjoying this season? Definitely higher quality. Definitely better edits. But stay locked to the channel because I will keep you up to date with all the latest tea. But remember this. Do the best you can with what you got. And I will see you on my next video. Bye. I'll be the best.